everyone. Today I'm cooking a very typical Vietnamese family daily meal with a poutine dish, a dipping sauce, some sorts of vegetables, and a soup. For main dish, I have boiled pork served with some fermented sour shrimp sauce, some fresh herbs and vegetables, and a tofu soup with chives. Simple as it is, this is the ultimate home cooked meal that any Vietnamese would love and savor. How to boil pork? That sounds simple, but there's of course always secrets how to make it perfect. Let's get cooking. Helen's recipes. Chew a large piece of pork belly that has more meat and less fat, and the meat and the fat are well attached. Place the pork in a pot of cold water and bring to a boil over high heat for about 2 to 3 minutes. Then take out and rinse well under cold water. This step is to remove the impurities and the smell of the pork. Rinse the pot clean and return the meat to the pot filled with enough water to cover. Use coconut juice if you have, it will make the pork even more flavorful. Smash two shallots and add to the pot to add more fragrance. Bring to a boil over high heat, then turn down to medium low and cook the pork for about 20 to 40 minutes depending on the thickness of the pork. A piece of pork like this would take just 20 minutes to cook in Vietnam, but if you buy the pork in the US or Germany, it could take 45 minutes because it's a different kind of pig. Green banana or chui jack, peel and soak in a bowl of salted water to prevent darkening. Then also thinly slice and soak again in the salted water. We like to use this to add tartness to the bite. You can also use plantain to replace. Green star fruit, you can also use pineapple or green kiwi cut into thin slices. The piece of pork is cooked through when you pierce a chopstick and the juice coming out runs clear. Soak the piece of pork in a bowl of ice water for about 5 minutes to maintain the bright color and keep the meat stay firm. Then drain well, wipe it dry and cut into thin slices. Arrange the boiled pork slices around a circle plate with the skin side facing out. You can buy a jar of this tom chia cà phao at the Asian store for a couple of bucks. It's basically fermented sour shrimps with some galango and some baby eggplants. Now arrange the green mangoes, bananas and star fruits and some mint on a big platter together with the boiled pork and the fermented sour sauce. You can also serve with some yu ya or the pickled bean sprouts. I will make use of the broth that we boil the pork in and add some cute tofu, some garlic chives and some fish sauce to make a simple soup. There you have a complete Vietnamese family meal. Everyone will have their own bowl of hot steamed rice, sit around the table and share the dishes together. Take a piece of pork and dip into that sauce. Don't forget the mint, the tart bananas and star fruits. If you're not salivating, I'm sure you're not Vietnamese. And if you are, I know you're gonna have this right tomorrow. Click thumbs up if you agree and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Vietnamese dishes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>